I had a problem with. Alrighty, let's bring the City Council Public Safety Subcommittee to orders Wednesday, July 16th, 2014. Hello, thanks all for coming. Um, we do not have the minutes from the previous meeting, so we'll take that to the next one. But we do have them. I will, I will have them. Okay. We want to, uh, we'll I'll submit them. Okay. Were you able to submit these, or did you just print out a copy for this? I printed it out for you to see, and then you and I have to approve them, then I'll submit them to the uh, okay. I'll drop that part Great. tomorrow if you want. Do you want to take a look at these? Inside? Sure. You weren't at that Can you? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes from May 13th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I can't vote. You want to do it? I abstain. Yeah. Well, yes. That was a very short meeting. <laughs> All right, public speak time. Seeing no one here from the general public, I assume you're here for agenda. Is yeah. that day two? For that um, rate. May 13th. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the street acceptances for Kingsbury Way, Bayberry Drive, and Birchwood Drive. So actually, I was going to ask that we table this until September because there are some issues that are still being worked out. And I know initially my dad had filed it and then I think he talked to Barbara about removing because he said at this point he never submitted a deed to city council to review and there were some things that Bernie still needed to do that Jim had requested. Yes. So at mm -hmm. this point, and I think there are a couple of other things that um, are still going on out there. So we, we need some time before we want to move forward on this. That was what I got from my father today. Great. Oh, that's pretty much exactly that's what, we want what I got as okay. well. And thanks for following <laughs> up on that deed and the submission of the plan. There were a couple of things that went back and forth and it was just a matter of seeing where it ended up. Um, you have this memo from Jim Bridger, the city engineer. It is dated October 23rd, 2013. Yep. What I did is I sat down with Jim mm -hmm. and we went through everything that was supposed to be done. I had okay. him check off what was done. Okay. And then these are incomplete. So, I'm just so I thought this might operate. help you out as yep. far as where we are. So he's good on Kingsbury. Yep. He's all set there. Those were okay. Package. These were okay, and then these easements are to be determined. And that's I think the, that's some of the, the those are some of the things we're still working on. Precisely. So yeah, um, which is why we need some time. Great. So yeah, those are to be determined and then that one's incomplete. Okay. And that was also to be determined. Okay. Does this jive with what you have as far as if that's if my understanding. That's yes. your understanding yep. as well. Okay. Yep. Do you guys want to take a look at this? This was all set, right? The start the first part of Birchwood, was that all set? Yes. That was okay. Okay. So I'm just going to anything I don't sure. want to I'm just going to answer it quickly. No, if you don't do, you're done. I have a little stack of duplicates. But I don't believe that particular memo is one that I have a duplicate of. You went to delay till August? Yeah, September. we went to delay in September. September. Jives with what the planning report um, had requested, voted to table the request until such time as concerns of the city engineer. And then that was from 2012 and then 2013, September. They agreed with the recommendations from Jim. So it looks like we're pretty good except for that, you know, deed and a copy of the plan. But 
That would be great. Okay. So what do you, you need to finish up the checklist and we need to resolve some easement issues. Um, um, and then there were a couple of items he still needed to complete. And then I have to get a deed over to city council so that they can uh, review it. Okay. One of the things that I want to keep track of as we move forward, it's Kingsbury Berry as in the fruit. E, two R's. <laughs> I've seen it spelled a couple different, different ways. Why? Um, the plan dictates. Yeah. Just so that we keep that confirmed going forward. Ken, I didn't read that video. I just saw it. I went to a fence. Jim mentioned at the last thing about having Bernie seal, reseal all the cracks because you don't know, remember you had us go on a field trip. So yeah, I, I, I know that one is a lot more uh, has a lot more cracks in it than um, Willow and Autumn had. You know, mm -hmm. it looks like some have been repaired in the past. The grass is now growing through them. So yeah, I don't I know if that's that a, that too. Um, I mean, I think that's something we should require. At least I would be you know, wanting to have required. I know Jim mentioned that. I just don't know if he had it in that because I didn't. You know, I was reading. I didn't see it when I flipped through there. But right I, through this. But I, I read it real fast. So that might be something we can you can talk to Jim about. And just because that was what he also mentioned that he felt that. He, well, if we're going to have that, I'd like to add it now. Right. If it's not in there, I don't know. I was, again, I read it fast. I don't, I don't think it was in here. Um, I mean, I'd like to add that now in my thing because, again, just to... I agree. I saw the same thing. I was just going to ask you guys what you thought of when right. you did the site visit. If there's anything in addition yeah, to that Yeah, there's a few things. But is the up for... Uh, maybe, maybe you can... I know the streets are all... There's Kingsbury and there's um, uh, Birchwood. There's also the one with the little um, cul-de-sac. Is that Arl? Is that... Or do you know? Um... I don't know that I brought that plan with me. I assume that's up for acceptance. It's, it's off Kingsbury. It's like the little... Birchwood so. Drive. There's Kingsbury Way, Bayberry Drive, and Birchwood Drive. Okay. Kingsbury is the long Kingsbury is the long. Bit. Bayberry is the one that kind of scoots around. And then Birchwood Drive is okay. very short. There was an end on Birch Drive that has like a gate, right? Is that Birch Drive? Um, Drive? I'm not sure. I'd have to see the plan. Do you have a copy of it? Because I grabbed the other file. No, we don't. Yes. That's you what I was asking about. Is that we've got no... You don't even have... Oh, I would have brought the whole big... I had. I pulled out all the big plans, but I didn't bring it down, and I grabbed the wrong file. Um, because we have like the actual subdivision plans that right. were submitted. Um, I mean, I could pull it up on that. Yeah, it was just the street. It's where you come out almost. You're almost if you enter by Strong and you exit by Plain. Uh -huh. It's almost at Plain. If you if you enter by Strong, I think that might be Laurel. Laurel, and is that up for acceptance or is that? I don't. That's I've not. Never that's seen that's not. It. I don't think that's in here. No, um, I didn't see that one mentioned. Because that's really in the worst shape of all the streets up there. It's the one that connects to. It Hendrix. doesn't really connect. It's a. It's it, if you went all the way through the development, like from Kingsbury off Strong, and you could back out and Plain. It's a right-hand turn just before you get to Plain. It's a cul-de-sac. It's kind of a long. It may I think be it's because there's additional work. To be, be yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's I just, why he didn't. I just had to swing up there, and I noticed. I have to look at the plan. The assessor's not open. Huh? Right. Let's say I could run over. And... But it may have been. I would assume it's probably in that Crown Meadow Estates plan originally. So I, I don't. Know, I don't know if all the roads. Were... Laurel Drive is the one with the cul-de-sac. Yeah. yeah. That was, I thought, in the worst shape up around the cul-de-sac. There was some cracks with grasses. I don't know. Well, I actually have. Accepted. Uh, Laurel Drive was accepted in 2002. So, so we already own it. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's on us. Maybe we can take that one off. Oh, is that the list of all the ones that have been? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're. it's part of our whole street acceptance protocol thing that we're trying to get together, so this isn't as. Um, um, I have a question. Sure. I noticed on Kingsbury Way, mm -hmm. the sidewalk. What's going to happen with the sidewalk on the strong end? I don't know. It's like it comes in from Strong Street and then it stops. And then there's that mega McMansion. There's no sidewalk from, from maybe 300 feet in all the way down to where the empty lots are that are still for sale. 
So and it's like it's like it's just it stops grass, the empty lots that haven't been sold or or you're talking about yeah. so coming so in off the strong so this street. Is strong and you come right. in here and someone bought two lots and they built that huge house right, right? And so then it curves this way and now it, the road now the road continues, continues it on for a long there, time yeah where the yeah. continuation is there is no sidewalk it's like and sidewalk and here it's because ends. that the additional ho- like it aren't that there aren't houses right they right. haven't all gone in yet so normally what he does is he, when, when there's that kind of construction that's going to go on so if he, are going to be sold and things are going to be built. He does the sidewalk, he does the sidewalk last so that there's not substantial damage to it as machinery okay. comes in and out in okay. you know, building. That would be my assumption. Okay. I'd have to confirm it with him, but that's been his standard protocol because otherwise, you know, if the sidewalk goes in and then people are coming in and out and they're excavating and they're doing whatever. That sounds reasonable. So that's reasonable. That's is, the, is the proposal so that we accept all of it from plain to strong because I would kind of like to either put something in there or or just do the exceptions of lots to are developed so yeah the sidewalks are added because if yeah or just do the acceptance up to where the sidewalk ends and then leave that other portion I don't know I don't know what your suggestions are but I you know I really think that it should Something should be something. Does that sound like something we could Not do? Not that he, I don't think that Bernie wouldn't do it, but do we know what lot? I mean, it says the sidewalk along the front of lots 53 through 55 right. has not been installed. Okay, it's so one of the things go. that yeah. Jeff mentioned. Okay, that's the area. Yeah, that, that, must, be that, that must be it. Yeah, he's saying that it has yeah. to be done, and as I said, normally it's not his protocol until it's done. Right. Um, okay. To you know, so that there's less damage. And then I noticed that, like at 34. There were some really big potholes around the water the um, covers, or the water the water covers. There were some really big chunks of on Kingsbury. Yeah, on Kingsbury, yeah. Around the drains, the drains, thirty four by by the water caps. You know, they get oh, okay. two caps and they have the water caps. The water caps are about that big. There's two water caps at around thirty four, and it's, it seems to be have some big um, <coughs> almost Excuse like potholes around them. Probably just needs to be filled up. And it was around what? Because it, it. I think it's around 34, maybe. It's closer to the Plain Street end. It's on if you're if you're coming in from Plain Street, it's on the left side. I didn't take any pictures of it. Um, I had too many people on my butt. The, the sidewalk issue was covered on the list, and I, I'm betting we could move forward with saying, you know, with the understanding that when these blocks are developed, and it, and it, that a sidewalk. It looks like right. they're all portioned out and everything and ready to go, so. Yeah. Because I mean, think it would have made it so valid. I mean, yeah, you can't put it in here. Yeah. And, and, and no, no, I get it. House, yeah. Now the town stuck for case mm-hmm. fixing. I get it. Yeah. 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 So. I get it. So we'd like to see the cracks filled and have grass growing through them. Yeah, I mean, whatever the roads were accepting, it's just, it looks like it's in the past, because it's been since 91, so I mean, yeah. it's been, it looks like he's repaired it in the past. I think right. it's just going over with that liquid stuff that fills in cracks again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please give us your start. And to take a, a thoughtful look at some of the um, infrastructure that's coming through the roads to just look at the edging. Mm-hmm. Sure yeah. Make yeah. sure that's not easy. Yeah. Okay. If you present this in, in it seems like it's something that's. I'm sure he'll do it. Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't think he'll have any objection to that. I mean, he did everything. I have a that was procedural much question. Do we have to do that in the form of a motion that we're requesting that they take a look at all those two things? Or? I don't think. Do uh, you think so? I don't think so. I mean, it's okay. just a recommendation just that, that sure. we're, we're, I mean, as long as we're puts it in the minutes, that that's something we've asked yep. Attorney Cap to, you know. So we have an updated this from Jim Gratian. We've made two additions. Right. I mean, you know, you know, we can put it in a final motion if we want, or once we accept it, we, want. <laughs> we can put it on his list. Or <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm kind of 
Yeah, I think, I think it's moving along. It doesn't seem to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you want to email me and say we're ready for September? Or yeah. do you? Sure, I'll, I can okay. just give you an update as yeah. we go along. Um, and then once I've submitted everything and, and we feel things are done, I'll let you know. Okay. And then we can so I would take a motion to table this until, until we hear from. Until we hear, until the fall when we hear from the attorney camp or the client again. So who's going to make the motion? I'll make a motion that we okay. table uh, this item until, uh, I'll say the fall, until we hear from a, the progress from attorney camp and the applicant as to uh, when they feel it can be brought back forward and the things are going. Great. And the other two are on the what, August, right? Is that, you said that it got moved for public hearing? The other two? Yes. Okay, so that's on like, the agenda for August. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, I've been going a million miles. In away. my head, that's so Willow. <laughs> so Willow and because I'll probably go. So Willow and Autumn. I'm, I'm when I know the next meeting's not until August, right? First at the full city council. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. We only have one meeting. First on Wednesday. August. First right. Wednesday. Okay. I got to go mark it on the calendar. I'm checking the date off the top of my Six. Six. August. Six. Yes. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'm so, motion passed three to zero. Did we vote? Uh, All those in favor? Uh, Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, Thank you, Amanda. Enjoy you too. the rest of your night. I'm going back to work. Oh, <laughs> Bye. Mom. We're kids. I know. Well. I'm afraid. Let's put so moving on to continued review protocol and procedure for student acceptances. I know that Jim Gray should today because he couldn't make it to the meeting, mm -hmm. but he's really excited that we're Could taking a look. I'm sure he is. You know? Well, if you read back through a lot of his memos, he's been asking for it. That was the thing that the came up over about. and over again. Right. So. Um, most of the departments just can't kind of seem to go like both of the Well, so yeah. Yeah. And, and that puts an awful lot of responsibility mm -hmm. on him. Because I know you, you did talk to Jessica, and it, it just reading her email, it said she was going on vacation, but pretty much we just do what Jim says. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I, th I think if we do develop some type of, which you know, I know we're going to go over some of the things, but like a checklist or something, I mean, I think it does have to start with a planning board and, mm -hmm. and uh, yep. stuff like that. Absolutely. So, Jim? Definitely gave me this. Um, I'm going to start with this because it's okay. quick. Sure. So this is a roadway inventory that he's been keeping track of. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a great start for us as far as when things are accepted and when they're not accepted. And this is actually translate into cold hard cash for East Hampton because there are some segments of road that aren't accepted right. and because they aren't accepted we don't get credit for them right. for chapter money 90 for money. chapter 90 money so it would which was getting back to these this is the problem to me to let somebody go for right. 20 so, plus years and not get any funds out of it precisely so I think um it would be really important for us as part of the protocol to put together, you know, the street acceptances, really take a look at what needs to be accepted and then, you know, if we can guinea pig those streets for this protocol and make sure that we, we're doing it correctly and that we're happy with the procedure that we came out. I know you mentioned one street and I can't think of it out now offhand. I'd have to look back in the You year. mentioned it a few hours ago. I can't. Remember you said where it, they accepted it and then yeah, but there was a whole was a section there that, was, of it that, wasn't that was never accepted, at least by, he thinks maybe it was accepted, yeah. but there's no record of it in the state, so the state hasn't given it. Then may, are we, you, so this project is to compile the list of the roads that we think have been accepted, but no one has any um, we have to check. verification of it. We have to check. I mean, Jim bumps into them because of certain things, but we have, mm -hmm. I think he said, 80 or 84 miles of road in East Hampton, and that's how they figure out what money we get. We get a percentage right. of that. Right. So it's only our accepted streets. So mm -hmm. if we make sure that there's streets that... Mm -hmm. We get a little bit more. Yeah, no, so, yeah, absolutely. So this we is, need to, a, I think, a, get them all up to date. Plus, it's a liability issue. Could be, yeah. Yeah, 
I mean, if something happens and there's not the proper street signage or something else yeah. like that. So, um, um, I think it would be really helpful for Jim if we helped him with this project. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, yeah, he's going to understand what's going on, but, you know, if, if we can just pick at it a little every, you know, so often a few weeks when we, when we do our, our thing, I think we can get through it and it would help. Um, our the biggest city. problem seems to be documentation that the city has or hasn't kept. <laughs> Um, you know, and I guess that's going forward. I'm hoping that's something we can rectify. Also, that you know, uh, you know, I don't know if it was just the former planner or or what. Mm -hmm. There's just you know a lot of the stuff we can't find or the people are having trouble finding. Yeah. Yeah. So, all righty. So what I did with Jim today, which I was thinking um, we get to do with you guys this evening, I'm going to step on my King's Bay stuff away. Mm. Oh, this is yours. Oh, thanks. Did we get that? We got that memo, didn't we? Did we copy of that or not? Yeah, but if you need one, let me know. Do you want me to send it to you? You sent it to me via the email with all of those other things. I'm, I'm good if it's in the email. I'm good. Okay. I just didn't get a chance to download everything. I glanced at it. I just, you know. I'm going to have that silly Let It Go song in my head for the rest of this meeting. Just so I'm frozen? <laughs> yeah. Could it go to the movie? Maybe. I am. I'm putting my grand. Maybe. My grandniece and nephew. My grandniece and nephew. My granddaughter. Granddaughters. Uh, I have a family. So this was really helpful because that easement is a big thing. So it sounds like everybody's going to get together and work on that. And maintenance issues on the catch bases and manholes as to above the as built plan. I, I think we're, I feel good about that. Yeah. Good. Just got to update everything. Okay. So we're moving on to street acceptance protocol. We are. So, what I did with Jen today is we, we went through all of the other ones, all the other samples that we mm -hmm. have. Um, you know, have a copy of our current protocol. Uh, the one that everybody seems to like is the North, the town of North. North Handover. Yeah. And I kind of like that one too yeah, myself. I think they were the most thorough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's and it's all Massachusetts law, yeah. so it all pertains to. Absolutely. So what we have um, so page one with a procedure sequence. I think we can skip over this for now. Because this has the 60 days or 45 days prior to, we might need to work on those yes, numbers. Yes, because it's a town, right? Procedure for street acceptance for so town meetings. So what I'm thinking is... They're so setting it up for town meetings. So right, to precisely. So what I'm thinking is, why don't we put the protocol together and then we can reverse engineer the time frames. So that would be towards the end of this project. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Page two, I absolutely love that it ends in best of luck. I feel like we need to have our best of <laughs> Best of luck. I don't know if that was meant to be as funny as it is, but it's really good. So, personally, I would like to keep that in there. Um, I apologize, there are not page numbers. But um, item B, street acceptance documentation. It's the one, two, fourth page in. Street acceptance procedures? Uh, B, street acceptance documentation. I tried to put these in order too, but I don't. Yeah, it's down here. I think street right. acceptance documentation B. Okay. okay. So these are notes from Jim. Um, items A through E. Yep. All good. He likes those. Okay. Um, 
One of the things that's an addition that we would have to write, a certificate of compliance with conditions imposed by development of the conservation committee, which I think is a great idea. It's there. So he wants, we don't have Wait, that no, now. No, no, no. Well, we don't. So he wants, he really likes E. Well, there's an arrow next to it. Yeah. not a prioritized. But I think it's a good thing to put in well, there. Well, of course but, it is. Um, so we may have to write those those compliances, you know, like a little blank form that the, they can um, sign off on. You know, the, the conservation committee has looked at the plans, blah, blah, blah. We don't see it. In fact, it was wet. So you want to basically add them into the acceptance procedure. So Precisely. You go to the conservation commission. Yeah. And if they don't find anything, they check it off and sign off on yeah. it. We find this property fine. No not conditions. Really no not yeah, not, no conditions are set forth on this property. Right. Go away. Yeah. Basically, go go forward. Yep. Best of luck. <laughs> Come on, that is not the I'm most sorry. hilarious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the fact that it actually says that. So, so what you would want to do then on the street acceptance is to add, probably. Would you want to add that on the well, checklist? Well, here's his addition to it, it which okay, is so why I brought it yeah. forward. So what, what would be his addition? This applies if they have conservation commission jurisdiction work near wetlands. If there's no CC involvement, stormwater permit certificate to be provided. Yeah, because we have a stormwater ordinance too. Right? Precisely. So he's adding the stormwater. Also. So right. if not provided or if not Stormwater permit certificate to be provided if there's no um, conservation commission involved, if it's not near wetlands. Which I thought was a good catch. Stormwater. Stormwater what? Permit, permit. certification. So what we're kind of building up to with this protocol is at the end you would have certificates of compliance from, from each, each department. department. Must be provided then, right? So, yep. So certificate of compliance with conditions imposed on development by conservation commission under the Wetlands Protection Act. If no commission involvement is needed, stormwater permit certification must be provided. Perfect. Bingo. Next page. F G H I J and K, all good. Which one? No, F G H I J K. Okay. Yep. He said all good with him. And and this can all be scanned in. We'll write it. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna write it out. Right? I mean, because you could really. Well, there's other things we want to like add it. Yeah, I'll probably scan some of it, but. Well, once we look at the breadth of the editing that we're going to do, I'll figure out the best way. Make sure you think yeah. that it's a little scandal wrong. Inhabitants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we <laughs> put these tent and seal and so lucky they're such a litigious little community. <laughs> um, All right, so he likes F. Yep. Instruments suitable for recording. Yep. Deed. For the street itself. Yep. Inhabitants of the city of East Hampton. Um, deed of gift and trust. That becomes space. if applicable. So deed of gift and trust for open space if applicable. Mm -hmm. Right, that's there. Okay. Um, let's see. Board of Selectmen becomes council. Right. A certificate signed by attorney, names, address of each property owner, mortgage, having rights or interests in the streets, easements. That's good. Mm -hmm. Request for a public hearing by who? Who would handle these public hearings? The Department of Public Works? So name and addresses of each going down through there along with the request for a public hearing by the city council? I'm sorry, which one? I'm on J. J. Okay. okay. Yeah. So name and addresses of each property owner and mortgage having given rights or interests in the street. So there's, there's two different space. ways 
Yes. Along with requests for a public hearing by the City Council for street acceptance pursuant to Mass General Laws, right? Mm -hmm. I would say it has to be city but, but there's two applications for street acceptances. One of them is development, which is mm -hmm. primarily where we get. And one of them is like a private way Petition. that the community right. lives on that street and put it together. And I think that covers the community that if there's a private way and they're like, hey, you know what? We're, we want to go this other way. So that is why there's the names and addresses of all the mm -hmm. letters. Mm -hmm. and, the and, you have to have a public mm -hmm. and that's one of the questions I had for you. And, and maybe that will become clear as, as we go through this exercise is do we have two protocols, you know, one for this particular scenario and then one for this particular scenario. For now, it seems like it's fine to have them together. It seems that they have them together. Yeah, not everybody does, so, you know. So. We just have to figure out what works best for us. Mm -hmm. so I don't have an opinion on it. No, it's just everybody given that the. Yep. Is the um, when the, the petition is that uh, I think by state law that I think that's set in state law. I'm not sure if it's mentioned which which state law is mentioned in here. Maybe one of mentioned in here. I think mm -hmm. that is like by state law how the, you know so many petitions. How you petition like petition petition forward, yeah. forward, so. or it's like a percentage yeah. of. Right. Right, so it may be mentioned in one of these. Uh, when they yeah. it. That's what I mean. Like it, it might come forward where you know. I think I think we move forward as it's together, so that we're doing one. Right. But if it gets to the point where we have okay. to like separate it out as a separate Pretty protocol, good. easy enough to do. I'm just pointing it out as right. that's applicable to this other situation, mm -hmm. which we don't normally deal with. Okay, so moving on to C, special requirements, section one. I think we should have the city attorney take a look at that. Okay. And that might actually be the language from Master of the Law that you were just talking about. Probably. I mean, obviously, we're going to have the city attorney take a look at the whole thing. Well, yeah, because it's yeah, registered general laws, chapter 185, land court. Yeah, I mean, what I what what my first thought is. It's absolutely positively proper language. It would just have to be, you know, Hampshire County, and and those things changed because we're not in Essex County and it's right. North, North District Land Registration. Yeah, the, lo the location and, and the things who like they're talking that about and, and, and all of that. Yeah. And then, but I'm thinking that probably this is probably all very proper. So, but to have have them take a quick look at it, you know? Mm -hmm. so. so number two, um, Jim really perked up at, uh, all property taxes owed to the town for anything must be paid for the town will recommend the street. Absolutely. So that we get our money beforehand. Yep. Because basically the street acceptance procedure has been kind of a... Lexus. <laughs> Lax. Loss financially for the city of East Yeah. 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 Yeah, we don't. Yeah, yeah, and then, and and not only that, but it will also keep everybody. Well, there's some developers who have multiple up projects up. going on. You know, you know, understanding that they all have to. Precisely. So we're done with that. Okay, so D work to be completed after the acceptance. Oh, okay. And how are we going to hold them to that? Through the uh, bond lines. Ah, okay. Developer brings original recorded deeds, easements, original miler, plan board will release final bond monies. Okay, perfect. So what happened prior is a perfect example of how we would do that. They need to put those mm -hmm. sidewalks in. So mm -hmm. we would hold on to that bond mm -hmm. until those sidewalks went and mm -hmm. even though the lots aren't sold, even though mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it doesn't happen, that's how we would ensure. I mean, mm -hmm. like you said, I'm sure they are going to put the sidewalks in, mm -hmm. but that way yep. they would be able to... It's a check and the balance. Out. It's a check and balance. We, the, the thing there, usually that's placed by the planning board, and that's the trouble with the planning board sometimes, like, in my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, oftentimes they haven't put sufficient bonds on these developers really to cover a lot of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think 
you know, I don't know how we, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be our purview to actually set the bond, that would be theirs, but I, I don't know how. It would, but I mean, we could also, from the would. city council, send them a memo yeah. or a, um, a memorandum to, to right, maybe, well, we, you know, actually how we could approach it, I think, is how do they set? I believe it's a percentage. How how do a percentage? How, how, how what is the formula that they use that they set? So you're saying the that bond. the ten million dollar project, it's a certain percentage. Or how much it costs to do the road? Like you know, if it costs a million dollars, it's a half a million dollars to do you know five hundred feet of road or whatever it is, then it's a percentage of that. And then the other thing that we can do is um, deduct. Maintenance fees, like um, snow plowing and whatnot. Well, that's what I know that you mentioned the last time. If, cause that's it, something Jim's going to look into. Yeah, because Jim was going to look into because that's one of our problems of plowing these roads. I mean, Precise. and would, that would not be put into necessarily this document, but would or would it? I think it would because it would. this is the street okay. acceptances procedure. Okay. And if you follow this procedure, this is what's going to happen. If there's, in other words, I think they would like in the case of snow plowing, if I that, they would have a right to maintain it. But if they're not maintaining it, and then we the city has to go in and maintain it to it, then, we'll charge them. then we take right. it out of their box. It's just what we do with sidewalks. When residents don't exactly. plow their sidewalks, we, we as a city can send the DPW in, but we will charge the homeowners or right. put a lien on their property. In this case, we would yeah. have a bond that we probably, assuming that, you know, again, there's yep, another one where... So, so what I did is I asked Jim to take a look at, um, like, what kind of fee structure that would be, if it would be like, okay, because it is a public safety issue to pop, plow those roads, so that's fine. Sure it is. These cars get down it. Do we do it the first time free? Charge, you know, 100 bucks first time, 200. Do we do an incremental increase? Do we do a flat rate every single time? You know, you know, some market rate kind of thing. So you're looking for a fee structure for maintenance of the road until acceptance. Specifically, maintenance relating to safety vehicles being able to use the road. You know, we can't go in and make every single pothole perfect and then charge them money, you know, but it, as long as it, the maintenance relates to public health and safety is, I think, the way we should word it. See, the theoretical way this is supposed to work, while a subdivision is private, the, the developer is supposed to be plowing. Right. We've and always taken it and, and maintained it. What we've done, and probably wrongly, is we've let them or we've said, well, geez, they maybe can't do it to the standard, so we've come in and done it for free, which mm -hmm. has been a big boom to these guys. So, you know, um, so, yeah, or we've also... So I think a thing like this, like you yeah. know, one developer, if he's got the equipment, maybe he wants to maintain the snow plowing himself, and as long as he maintains it to the standards of the DPW and the police department, I have no problem with that. But if, if he doesn't, and we have to come in and do that, that's maybe when you can take from a bond. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that's something that we add. These are the standards of the police department and the, and the DPW. DPW. You're more than welcome to do it yourself. Here Until we accept the street, but if you don't maintain the standards, then it would be, you know, the the, the city will plow it, and the money will be re, you know, to retract it in the bond. Obviously, the city solicitors would have to look at all this stuff. Precisely. <laughs> so but, right. And this, this is why we have this conversation. I mean, I think the, the city should definitely get compensated for doing this. Yeah, and you're also you're, you're also going to get the complaints from the residents who are paying their taxes. And you have to why are, why are you not plowing these roads? What's going on? Why are we not getting plowed? And the response will be, well, uh, you're not an accepted street, so your developer is supposed to be doing this. Um, you know, there's going to have to be some kind of mechanism or something put in the DPW that, yeah. So if they're not yeah, getting you can't plowed, wait. You can't wait two days to make no, exactly. it. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna well, be I think if we put this language in, this is a conversation that we're going to have with every single department. They're going to have these kind of and, and they should know that. The developers will know that up front. This yep. is what's going on. Exactly. And, and then we'll get input from the DPW, precisely what they're looking for, from the assessors, exactly what they're looking for. Jim's going to work on you know, trying to find like some sort of fee structure for this. So I we'll set think this all up. We're going to basically send it to all of the departments and say, what do you think? All right. This is what this is, this is the draft. Precisely. What? Yeah. 
things do you want to see put in here that, are that really affect that you feel are your right. department? What do you think is good? What do you think is is maybe not so good or, or restrictive? And yeah, that's my intention. Okay, just get right. everybody to take you know all eyes on it. So I think sure. this is this is one of those topics where everybody's going to go, ooh, you know. So, mm -hmm. so we're going to get a lot of input on that. On that but, particular one. Right? right. But basically it comes down to fee structure and, um, and standards. You know, our standards mm -hmm. of maintaining. That was, if I can get off the thing a little bit. Yeah. The town of Westford. Uh, I don't know if you have that one there. Uh, yeah. I grew up there. Ask me anything. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> they had one provision in there that I that I liked, and I don't know if we could incorporate it or if you guys feel we should incorporate it. Or yeah, so. what I wanted but to do was go through each one and then throw that said, in. The road must be completed to the specifications in the last approved site plan of the subdivision and be held to that standard for the road regardless of the year of completion. So to me, that puts the heat on to the contractor if he waits, like in this particular case we're dealing with now, 20 right. years. He still has to bring it to the. That wouldn't be filling the cracks. Great that would language. be putting. That would be resurfacing the street. I mean, because that's. A, Which one was that? It was the town of Westford. Uh, I just saw this one. Some of these. It's just like a one. Things I only see one. I know I've gone shuffle them and. Well, and I got Boylston. Right. I think it might just be a one page. There's two, three. Is there more? Is that? Four. West Boylston Westford, had a lot. West Boylston had a lot. Is this one? Some of, them, Some of them didn't have any, it just said public street layout acceptance for Yeah, that was one that was like 80 pages and I was just trying to get this out to you. But um, yeah, we're, we'll get to Westford in a second because I agree with you. I'm not seeing Westford. I have West Boyd. It, it looks like the street acceptances reference for subdivision roads, town of Westford. have it. Hey, that, yeah, I see you know, we have that one sheet and we do that now. Mine are all. Yes, but, oh, here, here no, this West Wales. I keep getting West Wales. I don't even have ours. So I think that's going to work to be completed Sad. after acceptance. And then releasing the final bond money is usually maintenance money is upon request of the developer. That all makes sense. So then the next segment is the street acceptance guidelines. And this lists those certificates of compliance that we were talking okay. about. So number one is from the planning department. Number two is from public works. Number three is from city council. I mean, a city solicitor. Mm -hmm. Four is from public works, and it has all their contact information. Yep. So and that. then we get a certificate of compliance from each of those departments. So then once they get that. Then the petitioner must schedule a date with the city council to obtain a vote. So, you know, that's when it will be transmitted to the planning department from the board of selectmen, from the city council. The planning department will then schedule you for a hearing with the planning board. So it all goes back onto the planning board to say, so we have your we have your petition, and now these are all of the things that have done, and now we will then say to the city council, all of these things have been done. So now we're going to submit your petition for street acceptance to the city council. Well, we can we can do it, and we're writing it. So I, I like the idea of it going back to the planning board. They're the ones that initially set all like of the too. criteria. I think ultimately, if it began with them, it should end with them. They go through and make sure all the paperwork's in order. Yes. And submit it to city council. Yes. And then it goes to the subcommittee. Then it comes back yes. to city council and voted. Yes. I think. Yeah. That's what I thought. Too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, it, it's kind of, the way this is written is kind of of uh, a little bit confusing, but it sounds like... Well, they have slightly different... So we're saying... They they said it transmitted to be submitted. Right, because it looks like it comes from the selectmen to the planning board, and then they have... So what I guess what we're saying, if I understand it, is everyone goes, gets this... Sure, should be. They're going to go to the planning board. We'll no get a heads up, but we're not going to do anything with it until the planning board says... All this. Yes. All this is. This has all been done. Right. Checked off. That we put in for compliance, and right. we we are now. And we've we're had okay here, with it. And we're here, mm -hmm. city council. Instead of Jim signing off on it, it should be the planning board. I agree. Yeah. So they will go through all these things, yeah. and then when they feel it's thing, then they send it to the 
city council for the final to the subcommittee and then to the full council for a final vote. That's what I think. So, so on, on the first, on the street acceptance guidelines on number five, the petitioner shall submit a petition to the city council and the planning board stating that the roadway in question has received the certificates of compliance and will attach a copy of the certificate of compliance with the petition to the board to the city council and the planning board no yes i want the planning board to be department of public works town council notified planning board the results of the review referred to an above step two and three and a certificate of compliance will be issued by the planning department if the results are positive. So the planning board is the last certificate of compliance and part of their requirements for compliance are that they have these certificates mm -hmm. of compliance mm -hmm. from the other departments. Mm -hmm. So then that's when the planning department sends it to us, mm -hmm. is what I'm thinking. Right. Mm -hmm. So what this language actually says is this, they put it back on the petitioner, but I don't think that needs to happen. Yeah, I know, it's, it's almost like it's bouncing it. Yeah, it's kind of well, very confusing. It's like you got everything and then it's like the petitioner. Well, this, you have everything very to the planning department and then you're going to submit the petition now to well, this is like in this case, the selectmen. Yeah. Right. And then and the selectmen send it to the planning. And then board. the selectmen send it to the planning board. And submit the planning to the planning board planning back to the department. The, yeah. I, yeah. I think we could probably cut a lot of those steps out and right. say, go to the planning board. They were the first. They were the, right. the last. That could the planning be board thing. goes through all of the checklists well, and says. When all the compliances are things. The goes developers back to the planning in full compliance of everything that we've asked. That's like their final compliance done. is the planning board's compliance. And, all the yep. and so our recommendation, and they can just to say to the developer, our recommendation is that you go forth to the city council for street acceptance with our recommendations. Right. And then, then the petitioner can petition the city council for the street acceptance, but not before stopping at the planning board for their very last compliance. I agree. Yeah. It shouldn't be Jim. It shouldn't be the city engineer. Oh, I mean, he's, obviously he's, he's he's part of that. That you got to get his compliance. Well, but yeah, he's, he's just that part. Part of the compliance, but We're, he didn't issue the. No, he didn't issue the plans or the, 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 the and the, the and, and the restrictions or, or anything else. Mm -hmm. The sidewalks and the lighting and the, yeah, he the, just sets the the flora, the fauna, the <laughs> the grass, the all of it is all put in by the planning board. So I think ultimately it should be them that says, okay, you've you've done everything we've asked you to do. Here's our signature. You can now go to the city council and, and With request your packet of information and request street acceptance. And, and I think this is something you know you you can maybe mention to Jessica when she is back because I mean I think you know unfortunately is with the planning board the planner kind of has to right. we'll get a lot of that put upon them too. Yep, to and I think that's another segment where it's actual the actual procedure. Everybody's going to look. But have to weigh in and say you know, that's why I skipped right over the sixty days, forty five right. days, that, whatever. We, we're not going to be able to plug in a time frame right. until, that we makes actually until we actually see steps. what our actual. But, you know, there's a couple of things here that show those steps, and I, I think if we present this in a way that says here, this this seems like a logical flow, flow precisely. So, okay, so then number 10, because it looks like, yeah, what you just highlighted there. So number 10, um, Jim said good, he likes this, where the petitioner shall record the original mylar necessary documentation at the registry of deeds, petitioner's attorney notifies the planning department the recording's been done. So. To the planning department, again, yes. Yep. Right. Yep. So. Because, oh, that's kind of where we're having this disconnect. Yeah, you're going to love the next page. Things are kind of being lost. Right. Good. It's like the planning board issues this and then it never, there's no review or yeah. they never see what, it's like put on Jim to come back and like, yeah, and, and, 
It really should go back to them. It's their plan, you know. Uh, like that. So, if we look at the next page. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> um, registered mail number? Oh, Your planning board no. members? Street acceptance checklist. Oh, going back to oh, the one that you told us to. Okay. I took that off. Okay. Just this one. All right. Yeah. It was, it was usually, it's my I had that on the top. So. so, the receipt of the request for a certificate of compliance from the petitioner. Um, I don't like the language on that. I don't think that makes sense. Receipt? I think it's the receipt of the okay. request for the actual street acceptances it themselves. So on the receipt of... There's got to be a request for the street acceptances. You know, they say... So hey. take receipt out of there and then... So request for certificate... I crossed out certificate of compliance and wrote street acceptance. What did you write? I wrote street acceptances because I figure this checklist is going to be filled out by the planning department. Yeah, do you want receipt? Receipt of request? Is that set? Maybe. I don't know. Or just request for street acceptance from petition. Well, let's go back to this. Maybe right. maybe the checklist is something we should put on the end too once we look at all the components mm -hmm. of the yeah. workflow. This, the certificate of compliance is issued to the petitioner from the planning department. What's missing is those three other certificates of compliance from the three other departments. Because once they go, th this is just kind of encompassing them. Because you could not get this cer certificate without those three other ones. Right. So yeah, so if you, if you wanted to yeah. add the other three. So it depends on what you want this checklist to look like. As city, as a city councilor, I would like to see something that's like, yep, I talked to DPW, yep, I well, talked to. You can, you can do this as a, like a headliner and then bullets of um, certificate of compliance from planning board, first bullet, planning board, department of public works, and city the city council, and the city, the, or the, the city engineer, <coughs> department of public works, city solicitor. that's one of them, the yeah. city solicitor. Conservation um, commission, if yeah, like boom, boom, board. boom, boom, boom. Yeah, just little bullets to say, Make sure you check with that, 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 yeah. that, and that. As a city, uh, that would Just, be that would be good it. information, I think, yeah. for city councilors. Yeah, as a reminder <laughs> that you know, <clears throat> and that would kind of take report of findings from town council and DPW kind of almost out of it. But they do have that further down though, certificate of compliance to the petitioner from the planning department. But petition th department is that doesn't get issued Switching. without those other ones. Right. So I just kind of want the other ones listed on whatever checklist we do. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want the hearing before the planning board, before they petition the selectmen of the city council in this case, don't lay out the way? Why, yep. why? So there's, why do they have the certificate? I think we all like planning. the idea of the checklist, but when I really started looking at it, it right. this in other words, they have this, this certificate of compliance, which we're going to incorporate all these in, and then it goes to the planning board. Then they petition the city council, but really shouldn't they have a hearing? Right. And then if they approve it, send it to the city council. I don't know. I mean, just. So there's two. There's. Otherwise, we're. The, the first, the first four or five things <coughs> don't make a whole lot of. Well, we have to think about who this checklist is for. If it's, it's for, for the, the petitioner. It's for the petitioner, the developer. Then or is it for us? Yeah, right. I see what you're saying. You know what Who's I mean? Or we could do two checklists. I would like an internal checklist because we have been missing pieces. To follow the paperwork. I think we need that. I don't think it's a bad idea. An, an internal checklist so that when it goes to each department, just whoever's the chair of that department sign signs off on it. Yes, I did this. So then when it gets to city council, Puts it we've in got a piece of and, paper and moves it along. that is like, this department, this department, this department, this department, here's all the information you need. That would be my idea. And 21 years later when someone's looking at it, you can at least pick it up and say, well, it did go to the 
it did go to the Board of Public Works, and this is the person that signed off on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? When well, this went to the, you know, whatever. But I also think a, a checklist for petitioners is not a bad idea. Yeah. So, so he knows or she knows The petitioner, the Does petitioner checklist will go out in the packet. The once, it's the filed with the, once it's filed with the planning board and, mm -hmm. and they come, then there should be a checklist that starts with the planning board that follows yeah. each of the paperwork, each of the departments, so that the planning board's reviewed this and now we're moving it on to here. Yeah. On the Is state. There, um, do, 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 do. Move it on. For street sentences, do, do we have like an application? From the planning department that they fill out? I have no idea. Okay. We yeah. really should have Jessica come in and see what it is, how how, how they do it. I think, what you know, what are the first steps that they require? How, I think right. that's an excellent suggestion, Joy. I mean, yeah. once we kind of, yeah. you get this together, maybe the next meeting, you have Jessica come in and say, listen, Jessica, how's it done now? How's it done? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, how I want to develop. I have a piece of property, and I want to develop it. What do I do? <laughs> See, I think well, I mean, she doesn't even have to come in. She can just email it. Yeah. Well, she can, email email it. Yes. Yeah, well, she can write it out. I, I don't want to keep post, waiting for right. it. No. So, no, so I, I post, agree pose the question to her. Say, right now. If I were to walk into your office today, yeah. and I have a large piece of, of property that I can subdivide, well, what's the first thing I should do, and, and what are the steps I should take? Yeah. Before coming to you. But ultimately, just, it does sound like... Just so that we can kind of get a... I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I, don't, I mean, my grandfather developed Richardson Circle, but I was I was three or four years old. I, I, I you know, I don't remember. And, and like, Nor would I have any cares about it, so... And like in the, in the case we're dealing with here, is this particular developer, at what point did, they, did he or she say, any developer, I want to have my street accepted? What, what do they do? Do they come into the planning board? Or do yeah, just, yeah. Do we have, do we have timelines that are... Right. And, the, and those are all the things that I knew we could do in right, Sarasota. So, which we, so we, that's why I said... You said we'll right put that at the end after we... So if you look, the next page is actually an application. And it says... Um, Registered mail number at the top. I have two copies of this, so if you Yeah, I have it. Registered mail number. Yep. yep. So then they put the street name, and then they send it to the planning board for the above name street and requesting. So... They must have it. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the last paragraph, it says, I respectfully request a meeting with the board after review of these materials and then completion of the required inspections to allow the petition street acceptance. Please go back to my office. Okay, that. So this looks like I like that that first step for the for, for the, the acceptance for, for the position for the acceptance when when they've gone through all of this other stuff I'm ready I'm ready to go forward with this so now I need to send this as a registered document to the planning board and say well and this is you know the here way. is my yeah. stuff. Do you have a tinge? Do you have a copy? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think they do. I have two I, copies. Oh, wait, I may have it. I broke that up. So is this... Uh, Starts off with registered mail number. Registered mail. Yeah. Okay. So this so looks like... So I'll put that in order where I'm working here. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and who knows? I might have shuffled it, but I'm right. pretty sure they were at the end. No, no, I, I've shuffled these between looking at one and... Yeah, I didn't have a staple, so yeah. I, I did the same thing you did, paper clip them. So. You know what? I ran off like a bunch of copies right before I ran out the door. I would have loved to have stapled them. My stapler broke, and I said, well, you know, we're all grown-ups. Um, all right. So this looks right. like the first step for the petitioner. So this would be the equivalent of what we're referring to as an application. And this would be handed out with the checklist. Mm. Applicant or his representative shall make the motion on the floor of town meeting. The vote be taken to accept subdivisions. So that's what we're and doing. where's 10? If, if it's section A. Section 10A. Right. Sorry. 
So I don't see ten. I don't see ten. I see a nine, but is it this ten? This nine and ten here? That goes back to petition show recording. No, that's um, that's a recording after um, some after he's been accepted. So I. Pursuant to Section 10A, Items 2 and 3. Okay. 10A, so far. I don't see 10A. Well, perhaps. Are we missing a page? Could be. I mean, I did just rip this off the internet. I really can wait later. So I can go back. Section 2 and 3 attached. Please find the following documentation to be approved by the planning board prior to filing a request for acceptance in accordance with sections 10A 4. Sounds like 10A might have a lot of good stuff in it. Well, I'll go back and take a look and email you whatever I find. 10A So that this just now brings it right back to the planning board for the final disposition. Okay. This looks like the first step, actually. You think this is the first step? Yeah. I, I don't know. Attached certification that the petitioner does own. And so, or rights. maybe this is maybe this is the final step where they have Our the final certification deeds, two copies of the attached easements, deeds property to be transferred. That's when the mother's done. To yeah, be yeah, filed yeah, on right, behalf right, of the right, town. So sorry. That's all right. See, I respectfully request a meeting with the board after review of these materials and the completion of the required inspections to allow the petition to allow the petition and street acceptance. So this is this is the request of the last meeting with the planning board. Yep, yeah, you're absolutely for them, right. I think, to accept all of the packets and for the planning board to say, yeah, okay, yes, you've met all of the requirements and then So the then planning would, department would give us a copy of this letter yep. and the checklist signed off. Yep, along with their recommendation. Saying, yep. This petitioner has met all of the criteria that we set forth, um, has met all of the certifications, and we recommend that the City Council move forward in the acceptance of yep. the street. And then there's even a. Uh, what are stone bones? Well, that's number four on this sheet here. It says the here, stone attaching bounds. a certificate with a registered surveyor relative to setting. Are those stone. pins? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the pins. pins. That's what they're talking about. You know, a lot of places have the old stones, like the yeah. square stones. Yeah, the maybe they're just using the antiquated language. Yep. Yeah. Well, and I actually asked Jim about that because the lots would be pinned, and he doesn't mm -hmm. really care so much about that. But the stone bounds of the property, especially if it's working from the development into open space or where that is going to be any he had said that that was a, a good thing to have in there to have stone bounds like the, yeah hmm. we can um you know he can obviously clarify that but oh yeah that seems, I mean, i'm not a surveyor and i just have never heard <clears throat> That. No, I know some of the old. So I want to say some I of the, can see that some you know, of the like older surveying used to. They used to put the trees and stones. Oh yeah, and the rocks and, and big square that, rectangle. That big old tree sitting out right. there. And, and I guess how pins could be changed to move where a stone yeah. out there is a little harder to move. Right. Just but um, yeah, it wasn't so much the pins for the property lines for the lots. You say where butts up to open but space or something like where that. Where butts, right? you know, the line of development. And I, and I don't know if it was he was particular this about one goes to whether it was a stone or not. So. I think this one is part of this. The front and everything is off, I think. What do you have after that? Mm -hmm. Other than the sample letter of the stone bounds, is that it? Yeah. Is that the last of it? That's it for sample letter for setting of stone bounds. And if you read it, it's not just the the lot of like one piece of property. It's it's for the entire 
the, the entire property that's being developed. developed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is Andover. This is Andover too, though. There's more than Andover and Andover just to keep it really simple. Oh, this is North Andover. This is Andover. Yeah. Okay. We've been dealing with North Andover. Right. Like the one I've been following along. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so that kind of, those were Jim's notes on North Andover. That was the one that he really liked a lot as well. I, I, I was drawn to that too. I, it's very clear. It's very well done, you know. <laughs> I like um, it. Like you said, there's, there's some, you know, procedural Just things that we're going to do differently. But, tweaking for our so. Um, do you want to do the Westford one? I know you had some comments. On no, I just had that one question of Westford. I mean, I didn't go through any of them. I just had, I just had starred that at one and point. For some reason, I don't have Westford, but um, as I said, I only was wondering if it was something maybe we could put in, you know, using the North End. But it, just, right. it, it just made mention of that if they delay, which you know we've had in the past, if mm -hmm. they delay, that once they go to. Have it completed. They have to bring the road up to the standard of to uh, the original standard. To the original that standard. Set for the that, you know, yeah. Right. I mean, I, I just thought that one thing that it, that is a well, good little that point. motivates them to not wait yeah. for years because then they're going to have to put a new road in. Well, if we look at the so this is how Westford did there. So they did a statement of purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, we provide an understandable description of the process required to bring a road forward for acceptance, and then their definitions of it. Um, which I thought was nice that it actually defines a lot of the language in there. What's a resident, what's unaccepted, what's a definitive plan, that kind of thing. Oh, um, on this first page, there's two things that, that struck Jim. And this is which one? This is, this is West, Westford. Westford that you don't have. Here. Yeah, Westford that I don't have, okay. So, Number five and number six, betterment and neighborhood funded. The neighborhood funded is that secondary uh, acceptance work. It's so the betterment would be subdivision and neighborhood funded. Oh, so that that would be the street acceptance of a private way, right? Mm -hmm. Where, where, the, where yeah. the residents petition the city to accept the right. private way as a as a city street. Yeah, and these guys actually mention a standard for the road, the standard set by the planning board and specified in the definitive plan. So, you know, we're, we're not reinventing the wheel the same. No, we're not. No, no. Um, Street so standards should be. Where should be was. He had five and six that he had. Yeah, five and six he kind of he wanted us to take a look at. Um, So if you look at prior to street acceptances, the town engineer must assess road condition. What number is that? I do not know, I'm sorry, I'm on the second page oh. here. We've got only one page. I don't think I have four pages. Okay, let me put this one on the Five pages for Westford. For Westford? Yeah. Let's see if we have no pages. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't have a title on it. I went through all, all of these things and then we could have so much documentation from. Well, let me just read this one real quick. Um, some of these items are weather dependent. This means that they cannot be properly performed if there's no frost or cold weather presence. Performance of most items would not meet standards if they were done in winter or early spring and would therefore result in premature failure or deterioration. This is the main reason for the requirement that work is not started prior to April 15th. Additionally, inspection of many items would be difficult and sometimes impossible during winter or early spring. A few examples, inspection of bounds covered by snow. Uh, an additional concern is that the practice of the town of Westford to observe the roadway through the course of one winter to ensure that there are no defects that could result in immediately necessary repairs. Is that something we're interested in? Seeing a road, a new road survive a winter. 
So it would be a bad thing. <laughs> so they're saying if it, it, it you check it, it would, and then after the first one, you say stress second. test. <laughs> yeah. I found my other list for a point. Oh, okay. Stress test. So you were reading on what page? Two? I'm on the second page. Um, and under... prior to street acceptances, the town engineer has assessed the condition. So the utmost importance to observe the function of drainage, you including infiltrating systems and detention basins through an entire winter. Hmm. It's kind of one of those things I wouldn't mind putting in the draft just to see, just to see, the, see if the DPW bites or... You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it is a draft. It's a draft. It's a working document. We can, we could ask for anything. It's whether or not the city engineer and the Department of Public Works and Planning Department finds it reasonable or unreasonable. After all, they're not yeah. the ones putting it together. We are. <laughs> right. So. So I just highlighted responsibility of builder and subdivider to build all roads to the standard that was approved in the definitive plan. <laughs> From Westford. Hey. Oh. And you're on the second page? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a, a numbered section? Yes, yeah. they're unnumbered. But I think you were on prior to three weeks on the town engineer must assess the rule. I think it might be page two. Yeah. Instruments. They're big. Um, set down. Go, go deeper. Is this jerk version then? That's different. Oh, that's one of different. That's what we're in there. No, Tinsboro. Oh, Tinsboro. Yeah. It's a certificate. See, they're all. They're all different. I got. <laughs> I got them all mixed up. I don't know who it was to. Okay. Yeah. 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 Town engineer, town selectman. <laughs> it's like, no, give me a name. I, I don't. The only reason why I know this is Westford is because Westford's actually listed on the page as being here. I do seem to be that one. And that's what it mentions the subdivision responsibility it goes back to the definitive plan, right? Which is on page one. Yeah, I highlight that. Right. I think that's a home run. I think that's that's a good pickup on the mm -hmm. part for that. Um, so I'm remembering now that one of the reasons I got Westwood, even though it seemed a little uh, not as complete as the other one we had, is that um, they had a lot of language for the kind of secondary application where it's a private way and the mm -hmm. residents want to do it. And they had a, a list of the following steps. I see that you, you have that page in front of you. Oh, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. The following steps. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Okay. So I like that they've added, you know, in all instances, the most recent code will apply. I think that's a good thing to put in there. And this is how residents would do it. You know, the citizens may submit a written request to the board of selectmen for street. Then it goes to the town engineer. Um, all conditions, punch list must be met. Completion, residents should contact the conservation director, blah, 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 street acceptance plan. So they would have to create one. And this, I think, we could refer back to if it's determined that we need something specifically for but if you'll notice that with their street acceptances, they did one separately. Yeah. yeah. And it continues on, actually. I, I kind of find it interesting that the resident should request a meeting with the town engineer. A resident? Well, they don't have a mail system, so I mean, should it be residents? Or it could be a private way with one house on the other. Sure. We, yes. we don't know. But yeah, the kind of that grammar and pronouns we can, we can yeah, fix. Exactly. But that was yeah. basically the gist of that. And if you move down to G underneath that, 
Which is the next page? I don't know if you have that. Probably not. I'm still trying to this okay. is hand over. A statement? A statement from the Westford Fire Chief certifying that all fire protection requirements, including but not necessarily limited to installation of fire hydrants and cisterns. I like that. We're public safety. I mean, do we do that? Where where so where is that language in this other like, yeah. Oh, so I asked Jim about this, and he yeah. said that you know when they're submitting plans for subdivisions, they do talk to the fire chief about where the placement of things should be. Um, but maybe you're saying we should get a statement from the fire chief saying that he, you know, saw the plan. Found. How it many should certificates be, of compliance do we want? I yeah, think it's I know. a bad idea. It should be in the plans, in the planning department should shouldn't they have yeah. X amount of no, fire hydrants, X number of feet? Yeah. Right. And it's going to be messed in a lot. They, talk, that they do know. talk to the fire chief about it, but there isn't anything. He, th he doesn't, there's nothing formal for him to sign off on, but he's always involved. But I don't think it's a bad idea. So is it another one of those things? Do we chuck it in there? And if they go, that's a needless Yeah, job. I mean, I, at least this particular fire chief, I don't think would have a problem. Yeah. Especially if it's a, you know. Absolutely not. Um, I'm trying to look at it from the viewpoint right, that like, our, our job just, is public safety. Right. That's why not that we want to get people busy work, but I think it should be done right. I mean, so that... Because yeah. that's another thing. Ten years after the streets and it, uh, a house burns down and they say, well, geez, there wasn't a fire hydrant. Why wasn't there a fire hydrant closer? Right. Or it wasn't working. Right, or it wasn't working. I mean, you could at least have go back to a document and say... When's the last time it was flushed? And did the DPW right. flush it because we didn't own it? Right. They should go back to a document and say, hey, this is where we put them, this is where the fire chief signed off on them, uh, you know. I think if, if we keep the focus on public safety and that, clearly the fire department falls under that. Oh, yeah. Then, then it's relevant. Uh, a lot of reasons. Um, he would also be the one that we would go to if we, if we needed to do no parking and things like that because we've got to be able to get the engines mm -hmm. and large vehicles in and out. Yeah. Especially some subdivisions, you know, like the you know, ones we were dealing with. So, yeah, earlier, so they have a statement open, of compliance. Like some of these smaller ones are like dead-end streets where they put five houses in. You know, that's really crucial that the, what you say about And the what they have the chief certifying is that all the fire protection requirements, including but not necessarily limited to installation of hydrants and sisters, have been provided and satisfactory. I think parking is a great thing to add in there, too. Well, isn't that the turnaround on one? No. Was supposed to be we were fired to turn around, I guess, or plow. Maybe it was yeah. a plow. Plow, but if a plow, also could be if fire. a plow can turn around, a fire. then the fire engine should be able to. Right. The standard is, you know, if I can't get one of my buses up a side street because of snow or cars or whatever, I call the police and say, you know, yeah, you're not going to get a fire engine up here. Right. If I can't get the my bus buses get down there, the fire, the fire like, engines are going to get down right. there. So, so I, I thought it would be a good sort of maybe tactic. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? So. It's and not that was it for Westford. That was it for Westford. There's a flow chart. It showed how things went, which I know you like. And Jim no. totally went. <clears throat> and I'm like, people react differently to flow charts. Well, you know, I, so I, I didn't like it. I did like yeah. it, and then and then when I started looking, it's I like the checklist actually better than even the flow chart. I think we put the procedures together, and then you we know, see which like, ones. Go. I like that too. <laughs> I really yes, like, that was, I like the same, this checklist. That's the same town, right? The, it is the same. Virginia this is town. Virginia. If you could, yeah. They have the flow if, chart too. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I really <laughs> like the checklist. So the whole one is just the one street thing, kind of. the one page thing, and it's just in it's just the information for the petitioner. Oh, okay, so that was just one page wool. Yeah. Let me find it. I'll just have it. And Andover? Was this I have one page with an and and over. In Tingsboro. Oh yeah, that was a really So there's a there's a big one here that starts off with a Oh this is kind of the thing that you're putting together. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. That was something I saw. What's accepted and what hasn't been? You have to be careful with me. I look out and I see things and I think that's a good idea and I have a giant project of it. We're going I know, I slapped it down in front of you 
homework. I wasn't kidding. We're everywhere. Sidewalk fair is everywhere. So this is the section. Um, Which street? Who is this from? Dot eight dot who is, two. Who is this from? This is the town of Andover. Oh, this is Andover. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Andover. Oh, yeah. What's Andover. What's Andover look like? Andover. That's Andover. See. Oh, what a street. They have a little, little yeah. tiny on the bottom. There. I got that one here somewhere. And and that was one. You know, I I didn't want. To, I wasn't going to come out with this giant fifty-page document. So what? What, you, what did you though. see that perked your interest in Andover? It was like four pages. Is it, is it have something to do with... How many pages do you have, Joanne? I have two, I think. It's a total of four pages. Four. Okay. I'm missing two. What did the last two look like? I think they're this one. Um, Brian Moore P.E. Oh, is that what that one was? An important yeah. notice. And the other last page is important notice. Important notice? That goes there? Yeah. <laughs> and and P.E. Oh, okay. There's a carol and gravy there in the middle. Right about there. So they do it a little bit differently. They ask that um, it submit directly to town council. I think everything should, I think planning board should be the hub. Yeah. Again, they, they um, set the criteria, so they set them, they set it all in motion. Um, This is not Jim. Jim's going to go on his plate. Anything that is in here that, frankly, that the good one hasn't mentioned. So, under special requirements, which is page yeah. three. Okay. Okay. Number two. Ah. Mm hmm. Did, did we have we, we put something yeah. in there about that. But I'm just, I, I'm kind of trying so, to yeah, right. put together. That's almost the exact language somebody else had. I mean, yeah. Was, oh, no, everybody, the North yeah. I don't feel like we're being that they the all North are, the but North. making sure that that's all done. Right. Yeah, before we start setting time limits, we're going to have to, when we go to each of the departments for their input, oh, that's what we should ask them is what would be your time limit on this and let them set their time limits. Exactly. Yep. It'll take us 30 days to do that. Yeah. Okay, so 30 days. Now this one has the town, uh, within 30 days of the town meeting acceptance so that we city council acceptance. The planning department will file the appropriate deeds and instruments of the registrar deeds. So do we have the... Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, I like them. Doing We've made the planning department basically the whole. Right. I thought one of these had the petitioner doing it. It did. Yeah. And you would have the planning board doing it. Yeah. Or no, once they get the sh check off and everything, then the, the, they, they, then the petitioner can file it. It's a probably cost money, I don't know. Does it? But yeah. So, yeah, that that everything that costs money is the state. Well, and that's one of the things. It's like, I mean, this, we lose money on this, and we've got to stop losing money. I don't, no, think, I don't, we, it, I don't think it's going to be income generating, but we have to right. just not lose money, right. you know? Well, every time that we, we make things redundant or things don't get done in a timely fashion, we're losing money and time and man and manpower. So mm -hmm. we we want to streamline it and make it efficient. So everybody. those are the things. Like I mean, after you read a couple of days, the same things. Yes, yeah, so they they're yeah. just so, kind of worded yeah. a little different or placed in a different order. And, and that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Um, this checklist for state maintained roads. So this is for state roads. The only thing that Jim saw on here um, certifying that the property corners are set, that goes back to those stone boundaries. So we'll have to bring him in and get some more information on what exactly he's doing. He could even write the language up. Right, right. Okay, so now we've got another big one here. This is West Boylston. 
All right, so you want some history? Lowell, we're done. We only have the one street on Lowell. That yeah, was pretty, that, that was just their information right. kind of okay. thing. They, I was just looking at different ways of presenting right. nope, the information. Nope, nope, absolutely. You know, we all like flow charts and then we're like, oh, checklist. So, I like the checklist. I just want to make sure everybody, you know, that the style is coming through. Um, What's boys? Yeah. Some history? West Boylston? Yeah. West Boylston Corporation. Left West Boylston and built in East Hampton. Wow. AKA that's um Oh you did all of the row houses. Mm -hmm. That was the old bridge over Perfume Pond. Oh, and all of the row houses. Names. I've always looked at Boylston the Boylston Avenue like and up. Oh, These are Chesson. That's why. Almost all of the inhabitants of West Boylston moved to East Hampton when the West Boylston Corporation picked up and moved to East Hampton. Right. And built the mills. It's reminding me of something that I forgot <laughs> about, so whatever. I just changed my name. You were terrible at that. I, I just changed my name, but I didn't think I'd pick that, but I didn't look. <laughs> Neither did I. I ignored it. See how terrible I, When I change my text messages, I change it to so it's just then somebody saying like, hello. Oh, because there's no good text. There's no good noise where you're like, oh, that's fine. Oh, or that, that thing got line. canceled, so I'm good with it. I just didn't put it in that it was canceled. How many pages do you have for West Boston? I got one, two, four? three, I have four. Four, four two. Yay, I got something and just right. Not to jump ahead in it, I have this one, the last one left. Is this somebody else? Two, two? This, uh... Yeah, there's a couple of little other things right there. I don't know who they are. Okay. So we're on West Boston. Okay. I don't remember seeing anything in here that... Well, these, we, we kind of just marked up ourselves from the last thing, so it'll be the DPW. I like this. These procedures are not intended to give legal advice. I always like those kind of yeah. disclaimers. <laughs> no, I mean, we have a great city solicitor. I'm sure it'll be They should consult with their own attorney to ensure compliance with legal requirements. Yes, thank you. Um, applicant shall submit all required documents and materials in one complete submission to the planning board. Yeah, that's good. That might Where be something. I'm on page two, number three. Uh, at least three months prior to town meeting. Okay. Uh, not necessarily focusing on the time frame, but but. I have that underlined too. One, you did one complete submission. Yeah, to the planning one board. complete. They right. kind of bolded it, so. Rather than piecemeal and informal. So, right. we all kind of like that. So then we do need a list of those documents and materials then. So that there's, you know, an item for our checklist. There's the stonebound certification. So, number four, and these are notes that I got from Jim earlier. A copy of the layout plans will show the streets and the easements by courses and distances for the signature block provided for city council. So that when we do that final plan and we take care of it and we say, yes, these are street acceptance, that city council sends it. This, this is what we have now. Is, that, is it just the president? Or it says here, President East Hampton Town Council. This would be now, I guess, the president of the city council. Or is that the town council being there? Surprised it doesn't have dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let, let, let me read it. Let me just take a look at this real quick. Town council would be. The East Hampton Town this. Council. That would have been the president of the town council, not city council. Right. No, I don't know. It but it wouldn't, wouldn't it be the, president, like the see, chairman of the board of select? No, because that we was were, different when we had. when we were originally elected, we were a town. We were not a city. We did right. not become a city until afterwards. Right. So this would have been for Merritt Loomis to sign. Like I used to be a town meeting member, so right. that would be the town comp. Right. Well, that yeah. that was select board. Right. It was that board was selected and then had the town meeting and members. And town meeting members. Right. This is East Hampton Town Council, and that's what we originally were. Okay. Was the East Hampton Town Council. So what they did was they probably just changed this from select board. I see. So this was when the quote, city council was first right. established. It was called right. the town council. Right. 
Date and dinosaurs. Right? Dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 so I, I think that's where I think that this probably acceptance of deed. This was probably changed and added in there just to mm -hmm. cover the East Tampa Town Council president of the East Tampa Town, not all of the city councilors. So we weren't a city then, so. Right. So what this is saying is that a copy of the layout plan, so a copy of the plans that actually has a block, you know how um, architects will sign the drawings or whatever, right. that they have city council do it? That's all we have. That's it, that's our. That's our current. That's our current. Yeah. This is why we do what we do. And if you notice, I, well, no, I highlighted this one, but it, there is more like conservation. Is this going to all, this will all have to go to ordinance, right? No, yeah. No, it's going to go to everybody. Yeah, I mean, right. this is definitely for them to be ordinance. accepted. So we may have to pull them in. So one of the things we need to come up with is basically like the final, what is, what is city council do? Do we sign a copy of the plans? Do we fill out a form like this? What does city council do? Reviews? Probably reviews all of the submitted documentation. Right, right, right. That say was, we, that say was it submitted goes to all the planning that, and board that comes and everything. Through and we all vote yay. So, so then, then I just sign off on it and we vote on the street so acceptance. What are we signing? Are we signing? Is there a block on the plan that we sign? No, I, th I, I we do something like this. I think I that think by accepting yeah, I agree. the deed okay. in the city, and the yeah, city council that's fine. president after a vote can sign off. Yeah. Just like they do on some. Yeah. I think what they do do, though, in go, having gone to planning board meetings, certain documents the planning board signs off right on the document. I know what you're talking about, Jen, mm -hmm. lots on those plot plans. Yeah, and that, that exactly. The, yeah. That these They've planning board members, yeah. so they would have already signed off on that. So yeah. I think we just need to sign yeah. off right So what, I we want, what we want from the planning board is, is everything, a complete document, just like they're expecting from the developers to come to them and we would, we would just review it and if we had any questions, we'd pull in the planning board and the developer yeah. and, okay. and just say, okay, we'll bring it to city council as presented. And so we're going to need a new one. Yeah, this, this absolutely needs to be written. And that, and that needs to be written. And, and I'm, I'm surprised she hadn't changed it right. now. Because it should be city council. Yeah. That one's got my nose on. If you want this one, Joe, you can have it. You know, I'm just tiling it. It's on the back. No, that one, I, no, I don't care. I just wrote my notes here. Yeah, so, yeah, I was, just, so the thing I write my handwritten notes, so, so I have two copies. Thank you. If you don't mind my yellow. No. I was just trying to, like, I was highlighting. Yeah, you had thank to do you. I voted the same one. I must have made a copy here. I'm, I'm going to highlight this because it's, it's the second time I've seen it. The of the gift, the open space parcel. If yeah. That is one. If there's, if we, there's, we have yeah. the, we want the conservation commission to sign off if it's a wetlands thing, but we need to incorporate this deed that if there is some sort of. Open I think space. that has the language in here. Of oh, this one here, with deed. I didn't and, remember seeing it, but that's I why I'm highlighting think that. They did. There was something on that. Book. There was something in here about deeded. Um, Petitioner copy requests to pay compliance, yeah. easements, deeds. That would probably fall under that. Well, it's a deed of gift for open space if open space can I you know I saw something in here for open space. Well, we're going to add it if it's not there. So. Right. Um, if it's in here, fine. If it's not, we'll add it. Uh, number 10. A copy of any homeowners association instrument that establishes maintenance responsibilities uh, for stormwater. Yes, 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 yes. That would be your condos, right. AKA the one up on Main Street. That, yeah. Including okay. so, um, that was something that Jim had pointed out. Number ten. Are you there, Dan? West Boyle's West Boyle's Copy of Homeowners Association Cinema of Established Meetings. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we should add that in. Check that Yeah, especially with the storm water starting to become an issue. That should be an issue going yeah. forward. I, I would hope that we're handling it much better than Northampton. Mm. I just. That's so wrong with her doing right, I don't really understand their system too much, but. I, you know, the taxpayers don't need that kind of added. Number 11 and number 12, I just wanted to run by the attorney to see if it's something we should so add in. Title to which any portion of this 
this one is only have it. That's kind of like with the language we put on for the polls. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that we have a right to put the... And that would not be for the roads that we um, take. These are not for the, our accepted roads. This is probably more leaning Up towards... Up accepted. Or, or the privates. Mm -hmm. This was probably language towards private ways and private roads. Yeah giving the city the right to be able to go in and, you know, um, fix stuff. So what I, the notes see, I that should be their, that should really be the landowner's responsibility, but I don't know. Well, then the if other they thing don't is, this, do this it. is something that they do at town meetings, so they have to really cover mm -hmm. themselves because they don't have as big of an administration as we do. So uh, my note next to 11 and 12 was just to ask the attorney. Register for the land court. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really, and is there a to the inheritance? I don't know. Yeah, you know, guys, I didn't see any of that in the um, other Massachusetts in North, North, North Andover. I didn't see any kind of language like that. Right. So, yeah, I would be interested. Well, I think what happens what, what is, is, exactly is communities to. go through the situation and they're like, well, mm -hmm. that can't happen anymore. Right. And they Absolutely. throw it in there. So, um, some sort of situation came up. So, I just thought it'd be worth it to ask, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. it seemed like kind of a what is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, what is this? And then number, um, number did, 15, did Jim have anything yeah. as to what, did Jim have anything to say as to what that might pertain to? No, I, I tried to keep him on stuff okay. that went directly with him just because yeah, yeah. it was really, no, he fine. got back from vacation and it was nice of him to spend, you know, an hour or so mm -hmm. with me and I, I tried to do it sure. as quickly as possible. Wanted to, but like, what is this me? <laughs> but, uh, 15 is another proof of payment. That, that's the so. recurring language they all have. <laughs> we like that. And then we have the Conservation Commission under 4A. So then we moved on to number 9. So then pretend it says after acceptance at City Council. Must record, execute copy conveyance, easements, utilities. Maybe that goes back to that other language here that we were questioning. Conveyance of utilities. Well, yeah, I mean, we're allowed to go back well, to yeah. those things. It's B that I'm really interested in. 90%. Upon we release only 90% of the original bond amount after all engineering and town council review fees have been paid. Do they ever have to release the other 10%? Yeah, I mean, what? Well, what, 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 I mean, I think they, that what do they do with the other 10%? I mean, I could, I if, could see being... If this went back to the one that you held over for a year while you saw how the winter did it, I could see, you know, <laughs> you submit everything, we'll give you nine, we'll more keep ten. For, the engineering and town council review fees. We... So the, so the city keeps 10% as... Well, town council review fees and, and engineering fees? Of course, it does, it does cost the city money. To have city solicitor come in and review things, it, it always costs us money for our engineers or and and any personnel, city personnel, to to take time out of their day to review this. Stuff. The goal is to make so, the uh, the city not lose not money. Lose money. Right. As you so, said, now we're not trying to make money. So money. upon requests of the applicant, I think that well. I'm not quite I don't sure what is the applicant either. <laughs> I, I mean, it's either incredibly it, either or either, there's something we don't yeah, know. Either you're going to say 90% will be of the original bond will be released back to the developer once the streets have been accepted and whatever, with 10% being held over 
Mm-hmm. As city fees, but that that's kind of like. I don't well, know, we, we, we could email them and ask them. I would want. I would want to be more open about that. Right. You know, I would want to say at the very beginning that. Right. Whatever a certain amount of bond money, ten percent of the bond, money, back, of the bond will, go be, to will will be applied to administrative costs to the city. city. For you know, is there any uh, again? And this is just an open question because I don't have the answer for it. I know, like, if you take a building permit out, there's a fee. You go to the planning board, there's a fee. Right. If you go for a road acceptance, is there a fee? Not right no. now. Not right now. So that does anybody do that? Or is that is that the ten percent? Well, that's what I'm that saying. That might be what they're trying to cover. Or maybe we could, maybe that's something we could look at as having a fee when someone comes. Although I think the city solicitor review fee would be something. To right, would be at least. Uh, well, see if it's legal and see if we can do it. And if we can, that's definitely a discussion that I think we should have. Have the money go back into the general fund. Mm-hmm. Um, because it does cost the city right, money to accept. It costs you the employee's time. Is one thing, but also, I mean, the city solicitor, every time it, he's working. Exactly. Things, exactly. And we the have city to pay solicitor for him per hour. Because they're that's kind of, he's got Is he number. a per diem or an hourly? Or he's hourly. hourly. He's, he's hourly. hourly. So, I mean, that's easy he's enough to he's do. He's an hourly rate. Right. We set aside in the budget a set amount, but right. if he goes over that, we right. have to, we have to appropriate. That's right. Supplemental appropriate. Yeah, no, he's he's hourly. That's well, why when I was president of the council, I was, I mean, I was like, nobody out. talks to him but me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you actually, give me your questions, and then I will I'm, I'm going to interrupt so. with a question about that because sure. I do. We are going to have some questions for the city solicitor with this. All right. So my suggestion sure. to you is put all of the questions together, and then submit them to Joe for Joe to submit to the city solicitor because Thank last you. time I last time I knew. Any questions or whatever without the express uh, permission or consent of the president aren't going to go to the city solicitor because the city solicitor is on. No, I'm I'm glad this came up because I meant to ask. Yeah. Okay, Papa Joe. Yeah, I got I would would write all the questions down and send them to the president and say, you know. President McCoy, these are the Here's questions the question. that we need the committee, to be have answered. Committee, the committee. Committee. Could you please we'd submit like them to the So I think the city solicitor board. fee is perfectly reasonable. It is reasonable. I, I because these are complicated things. But these but, but secondarily, do we have a fee for the procedure just in, in general, itself? Like a building permit. I mean you could. Maybe that's something we I feel a little uncomfortable about, you know, the city engineer because he's a city employee. I believe this falls under the purview of the I mean, I guess if I was and because we're taking the goal where we're spreading it out over the other things, this should be easier for the city the solicitor. Uh, engineer. What does the fee like a, a, a developer pays to the planning board? Is it? I mean, I don't know what that, maybe that's something. I don't know. Jessica yeah. also. Yeah. And like, in other words, if they're already paying um, to file the subdivisions a large amount. I mean, if it's a few hundred bucks, then I have no problem. They're they're, they're going to be filing with the court deeds, records. Well, they're going to want to file all those other things. Yeah, for sure. I think the city solicitor fee is kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, I don't... don't, Um, um, And that would be one of my questions. Do we have filing fees? I think there was filing fees with both. The yeah. planning board. I just don't know what that fee schedule. See that but maybe that, this falls under the filing fee. Right. Like I would be comfortable with that, but I do think the city solicitor is is above take and beyond. Mm-hmm. because it is looking at it's doing the deed research. I, I'm interested the though research, doing to find out. <laughs> Like, like they're only they're only releasing ninety percent instead of one hundred percent. If I was a developer and I read that, I'd say so what? Like, like a <laughs> bail bond. Like, like a bail bond. I'm <laughs> like geniuses. How do you do that? Um, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna email them back. and and see if and yeah. get an answer. You know? I think that's pretty Jeez, is that is that interest that <laughs> you take off my money? I can give. She's paying me interest. <laughs> um, this public That's street layout and acceptance was pretty much standard. There's no new information That's here. That's this one here that we didn't last Yeah, this little kind of junky so, one that came through. So that was our last one? And that was it. And wow. then um, this was the, le- the, bleh, the list of streets that were accepted and unaccepted from Takes Care All, which I think, you know, right. I stated at the beginning, I think we should move forward on. Yeah. Well, I think North Andover really 
Yeah, I think we can use it's that. Pretty as the, thorough. I think that's going to be the master, and then just yeah, tweak and then, it to our room. And then add in, add a couple of things, tweak we, it, and and their street acceptance checklist. Add in checklist. some of the things we saw from the other. Kind of take some stuff. I did see that it was under J of that. Um, yeah. H or J of. Uh, take some st other stuff with their little checklist from others. Jay, you know, where Jim said good of North End over. Yeah. Was, um, he likes Name it. and address of each property owner in, in the easement and open space. Where are you? Everybody were asking about open space. Yeah. I think it's on this one. See this? A deed, a deed in the, no, it's H. Deed and gift of open space. We just talked about that. Set it up. Their check, you know, with our checklist, but kind of with, I like little squares where they have to be reviewed, you know, who reviewed it, and I think there's got to be a something date. like that. A date, yeah. I think there has date. to be a date line, yeah. and then the, the, the chair signature. Who, date, you know, and I do. No, really, you know what? I, don't, I, I don't. live by lists. I just can't You know, I do. I it's really. Not the word I, I, I am all for it. I do live by lists. Whatever. And I and I keep checklists <laughs> with me every day, I, and I make my next days because that's how I keep myself on task. And all right, so a day, so. and then the signature, and you would prefer boxes. Boxes or sign off, whatever you know. Just but the date and definitely date and signature. Mm -hmm. Stickers, mm -hmm. little stickers, mm -hmm. stickies. <laughs> good one. Stamps. That's it's, it's we're, we're definitely we have, definitely. Where we have good. Thanks. Where we have best of luck, and we put a little smiley face to it. <laughs> That's the one. Lots of uh -huh. emoticons, all of them, all emojis. So thus concludes my little presentation. Thank you for slogging through that with me. I mean, I appreciate it. you did a lot. Mm -hmm. You um, have done a lot of work. Well, printed things out and put things together. I like doing stuff like this. You know, you oh, total weirdo. But I, I like procedures. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to go that far. Yeah. But. Oh, this was. Um, you have you have a lot of really good ideas. It's. Oh. It's, it's 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 good. No, this is time. Thanks. I mean, we're a city. We don't we don't live by two right. pages of anything. <laughs> it's it's crazy. You know, I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's too small to find. Oh my um, goodness. This is a That's sample of a scary. bond. This is required for Fox Run. So this is something else that we're going to maybe look at when we're looking at for what Fox the, Run North. Yeah. Yeah. This. Is and the oh. Fox Run is off uh, Hendrix. Yeah. It's a development. That's one that's, I think that's an honor. That's a, is, one of the others that hasn't been approved yet. This is what Jim gave me because I it's, was said it's right, That's the one that Root did. It's on the right hand side, past the ex former mayor's So that's just right a sample. Side. It actually, it was where we were at uh, at Willow when we looked through at the barricade. Wanderlick. Uh, He's a. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, this okay. was, <laughs> yeah. so that was a sample that he gave me because I had asked him, I wasn't quite aware of what our procedure for the bonds was, because I'm like, okay, so what if we, time renewed or broke the you know, so we've accept, we're going to put forward Willow and Autumn for acceptance, do we release bond, and if we do, where is that money, because this right. happened in the 1990s. Right. Like, is there a bond? There is. I think there's like 10,000. 10 grand. So, second time, do we have like a, a you know, there's got to be a record of an escrow from account away somewhere. From, like, well, it's right here. The, the amount, it's right here. Reference that, to that's, that's just a sample. That's not, oh, that's just what it looks like. Because I'm like, what does our current bond um, agreement look like? So that if we were going to make changes that said we're deducting snow plow, we're deducting, I don't know, something. This is, we're this is our letterhead on That's it, where so. we put our, we keep 10%. That's where we grease them, Joy. Run tape. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. You say we in, the, in terms yeah, of the we, city. No. Not you and her. Sure. Well, so, yeah. That's yeah, just, but if you're going to, if you're going to, you know what I'm saying. If, if you're going to, if, 
everything should just be up Because I mean, this says, with approval of the planning board of the beneficiary, the bank may make partial disbursements of funds here under directly to the obligors, obligators it should be, or to its contractors and subcontractors as various improvement and work have been completed and approved by the planning board. That's, yeah, it begins and ends with the planning board. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the planning board's been um, kind of walking on the easy side of things for a long time. And, um, and I hate to put more on them because they do have a lot going on. However, I'm really, if they're the ones that the you know what, set up, I think start with the procedure then, set up, it's not really on Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it's I just think a matter of them telling the petitioner this is what you need. And, and I think it'll be making it easier for them at the beginning right. for us to put this all together. Yeah. I, I don't think it, it to the end zone escalates the level right. of work. For every, no, I don't think it escalates. I think it's actually going to clarify it and make it easier. Right. Okay. That's the goal. Because yeah. everybody will all then all now be playing by the same yeah. rules yeah. And, and know what the criteria is and what needs to be done. And, right. Yeah, hopefully there'll be a record of it. Right. Yeah, because the, the ambiguity of the two pages that we have right now is I, I it's helter skelter. Second. I uh yeah. I yes, I agree. Motion passes.